And thankfully we haven't seen any of that messy Ooh. weather here lately though, but Look, the forecast looked okay. I guess okay, I yeah, okay. Wet, though. We'll, yeah. We will be feeling the effects from what Phoenix saw and Denver yeah. experienced. We're going to see some rain and also some wind as we go into the day tomorrow. But with that comes also some milder temperatures. But we do have a lot to talk about. Live Doppler 5 right now painting some moisture, mainly back towards the west of our main viewing area. Rockford down towards Dixon. Some showers being reported there. But more rain will move in as we head overnight into our Sunday. And tomorrow looks to be a wet and soggy day over. Overall. So you can see the rain there. More is to come. Temperatures though outside right now, not too bad. Even near average, O'Hare 41, Midway 45 degrees, Gary, Indiana there at 46. And here's the thing with our temperatures, with the system moving in, pulling in that warmth and the moisture from the southwest. Temperatures remain steady during the overnight hours, so not dropping too much. But putting everything into perspective for you, satellite and radar showing this area of low pressure that's going to continue to move in our direction. Then we'll have another reinforcing shot of some more moisture during in the afternoon tomorrow. Here's that one band of rain, also some showers. You can see the darker colors embedded with that line. So this is going to continue to move in our direction. So increase in coverage with the rain as we go overnight into our Sunday tomorrow morning, looking like a wet start. I know we have a big parade on the south side, so have the rain gear with you throughout the day. Morning and afternoon, steady rain showers, perhaps even moderate at times. Stormcast indicating that with our darker colors there. This is 6 a.m. tomorrow morning, so the rain is in the forecast. And I I am expecting it to carry over into the afternoon on and off. And then as we go late into Sunday, we'll start to see the rain showers taper. But anyway, you cut it, you can see this air of low pressure taking its time to get through. So we will be under the gun for the rain. And then on the back side of the system late Sunday into Monday could start to see some light snow mixing in with the rain showers, but little in the way of accumulation there. But Monday not bringing a whole lot of sunshine into the forecast, perhaps fitting some in later in the day, but not looking very likely there. When it comes to rain totals, this is why we are are concerned with the system moving in. Models indicating anywhere from a half an inch to an inch of rain is likely in a lot of locations. Notice the deeper colors, that purple there. Some areas could pick up over an inch of rainfall from this. We've had a lot of snow over the past couple of days. We have warmer temperatures and now we're getting that rain. So snow melt and the rain could lead to localized flooding. So if you are in a flood prone area, low lying, if your basement tends to flood with a lot of rain, keep that in mind. You may want to get the boxes up from the floor and keep a alert to that as we go throughout the day tomorrow. Now for tonight, periods of rain in the forecast and also areas of fog, a low of about 41 degrees. And before you go to bed tonight, we are springing ahead. That starts at 2 a.m. Sunday daylight saving time. Set the clocks one hour ahead. And I'll be honest, it's my least favorite weekend of this entire year. Lacking sleep <laughs> tomorrow, 48 degrees for a high. So we are above average there. Rain showers expected. Then we'll see some calmer weather throughout the middle of the week with just a slight chance of a few disturbances rolling in later on, but temperatures near average. So looking to that spring like not a big snowstorm in our immediate future. Now Cheryl's weather photos sponsored by WeatherTech. And here's oh, a wow. nice gorgeous that shot. Pretty. Yeah, we have the snow and the tree and little fog there. Pic wow. Picturesque there. A lot of that snow starting to melt out there. Yes, yeah. that's the concern for tomorrow. Right, absolutely. Thank you, Cheryl. And a Chicago native and Army soldier returns home to a hero's welcome.